My name is Sarah Woodbury, and I'm here today to talk about the Mithras cult in Britain. Last week, I talked about how the Roman religion in Britain was different from what was practiced in Rome itself. This was true of the Britons, but it was also true in regard to the beliefs of the legionnaires who served in Britain, mainly through their worship of the god Mithras. Mithras, who was a god of friendship, contract, and order, started out as an Indo-Iranian deity, and once Rome conquered Iran, spread very quickly throughout the Roman Empire. Mithraism is described by scholars as a, quote, mystery cult, because worship of Mithras was secretive and involved seven degrees of initiation, each of which required the initiate to perform a task. The cult was so secretive, in fact, that few written records of the Mithras cult have survived, and virtually everything we know about it comes from carvings and statues. These generally depict three events. The birth of Mithras from a rock, Mithras slaughtering a bull, and him dining with Sol, the sun god, on the slaughtered bull's hide. The Roman legions brought the Mithras cult to Britain, and remains of ten temples dedicated to Mithras have been discovered. Generally, they are all constructed similarly in that they have a sanctuary, a long, narrow nave, and an outer room. Though the ideal within the cult, and in keeping with that secrecy, was to build underground, even in a cave, many temples to Mithras in Britain were not constructed that way. Well, the most famous temple and best preserved one in Britain is in London. Three have been discovered along Hadrian's Wall. The one we visited was at Carabruff. So Carabruff Roman Fort is one of 16 forts along the 73 mile long Hadrian's Wall, which was begun around AD 122. Carabruff itself housed a garrison of approximately 500 soldiers. As I talked about last week, and actually in videos last season about the Roman conquest of Britain, these soldiers were generally not from Rome. The first legion came from southwest France, and it was later replaced by a legion from Belgium. The temple to Mithras here was probably built by soldiers at the fort around AD 200 and destroyed about AD 350. It had three altars, each dedicated by commanding officers of the first cohort of Batavians, so commanding the second legion from Belgium. Another military site with a Mithras temple was Sigontium, which is located in modern day Carnarvon. Talked about Carnarvon last season in reference primarily to the Norman conquest of Wales. The fort itself and the Mithras temple actually plays a role in Crouchback, the first book in my Welsh Guard Mysteries. Unfortunately, the temple can't be visited today because after excavation, it was covered over by a housing development. Interestingly, at one time, the Mithras cult was seen as a rival to Christianity, but with the recognition of Christianity as the official religion of the Roman Empire, the Mithras cult began to fade. It is early Christianity in Britain we'll be talking about next week. The birth of Mithras from a rock, not Iraq, a rock. Sorry. So not the country Iraq, a mineral condensed into <laughs> right. a solid form. <laughs> That's right. Thanks for watching my video. You can click on the playlist or subscribe to my channel to see more. There'll be a new video next week. If you want to check out my books, click on the link to my webpage.